Alrighty then, Stan, Two McQuarrers, and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. As we get into the campaigns of Howl's Heroes, and the last time we managed to buy, steal ourselves a brand new black beard, as well as something else. I don't remember what, but hey, who cares? Uh, we are going to be taking another Flushing the Mountain mission, a battle for 17 priority salvage, 467,200 seabills, and five skulls. Hopefully, this time, Sumir will actually not drop me on top of a cliff. And here we are. Guten Tag. Anybody nearby? No? Not really? Okay. Alright, so the enemy force not that far away. We should be able to start moving towards them and getting ready for the next mission. So, first things first, of course, uh, we are going to remember this time to activate our AMS to overload so that we don't accidentally get ourselves shot too badly. Because we want to make sure that that's operating properly. Mockingbird, you do have an AMS as well. Uh, the loadout is basically the exact same as last episode, so we've got our Thanatos with the Son of Thumper currently in testing right now, I suppose. Uh, we're utilizing it just in order to see how it matches up to a standard one. The Son of Thumper does allow us to pack in a little bit more, uh, God, what's the word? Accuracy augmentation equipment, I guess we could go with. So, utilizing that will hopefully allow us to be more, more accurate despite the inaccuracy of the Son of Thumper. So, with any luck, fingers crossed, everything will be fine. In the meantime, we're just going to get everybody rushing on forward as fast as we can. We want to be on top of the enemy and basically surprise them, terrorize them, confuse them, and nuke them with as much heavy firepower as I've got. You know, minus, of course, the nukes. So, we are, after today's episode, four episodes away from the end of Howl. Uh, that'll be our final episode of Rogue Tech 1.7. We will finally be moving on to something different. Um... We have been thinking about going into Rogue Tech 1.8, however, uh, I hear that Rogue Tech 1.8 actually may not end up being a thing. That they will instead immediately just jump immediately to try and get, or not immediately, but soon to jump to getting compatibility with 1.9, the new update. Oh, it's a Templar. Interesting. That might be worth robbing. So the idea would be that so, if they're going to 1.9, that's going to take them even longer in order to get things sorted out for full-on compatibility. If that's going to be the case, uh, we may want to try something else. So, we could try something like uh, Battletech 3062 Advanced, uh, which is done by Bloody Doves, who we've raided on occasion in our Twitch chats. Also, there's a lot of support between Battletech 3062 Advanced and the Rogue Tech team. So, that may not be the worst thing in the world to try out. <laughs> I don't mean to make it sound so drastic and negative because I hear nothing but amazing things about the mod. But I'm just not sure which direction we want to end up going in. We'll definitely have to figure it out by next Saturday, because that'll be when we start it. So, that'll be interesting. I say that way too much. And often about things that are going to be negative. Oh, that's... So, we're basically getting our butt handed to us at the moment, in terms of speed. Because we are getting outsped by absolutely everybody. Although we did manage to shoot them 32 of 60 missiles, so that's not bad. What are you? Centurion? Don't care. Templar? Interesting. Firestarter? Don't care. Centurion? Don't care. Two internal combustion engines, one of which is an LRM-20 carrier? Uh, I do care a little bit. And a Thumper TAV. Luckily for us, he can't hit the broadside of a barn. Good, we can work with that. Hey, Finn's up. So I think what Finn wants to do is set himself up as King of the Mountain. That's why I moved him, because he can identify even more stuff. We got a king crab in back, don't know what he's packing. And hey, that's a heavy ammo here. Fascinating. What are you? Ajax assault tank, thumper TAV that was just fired at a PO heavy tank. Uh the Ajax might be important. The Shieldron. Ooh. We don't know which Shieldron we're dealing with, unfortunately. That's a problem. If it's Aero Shieldron, that's an entirely different beast than if it's not. But I'm going to focus on the Heavy Ammo Uh It is something prior. Actually, ooh, that, that's right. I can sensor lock the Shieldron, see if I can't find out even more. Locked on. It is a large laser Exister Shieldron? I didn't know that was a thing, but that seems like a terrible Shieldron. In any event, now I can engage the Heavy Carrier without any concern whatsoever. Pair of Aero Missiles. Good, solid hits onto the target. Maybe I should have gone with a guided shell on that one, but I wanted to see what would end up happening. Oh, we got a longbow R LGB RX. Okay, are you a risk version? Do I have a risk version? I'm gonna have to look into that. He's gonna sensor pulse on that. That'll reveal us all. However, we're still waiting to move, so that's not the worst thing in the world. All this loss of evasion, for the most part, doesn't really matter since the only person who moved didn't get hit by the pulse. So I'm, I'm reasonable with that. 
Shiltron C. There's the heavy milker. He's now about to rain on our parade. Not nearly as many hits as I was expecting. Damage minimal. 20 to 40. Heavy ammo carriers have literally a hundred missiles. So I'm not quite sure why that ended up happening that way. Our support demolisher. Okay, this is an arrow equipped demolisher. Shoot. Wish I had noticed that. Ooh, if, especially if I had noticed that I would have dropped it down around Long time marauder? Yes, because there's literally no other marauders that exist in this universe anymore. Sorry, I am salty. But you're going to have to get over that if you're not going to give me any unit variety. Like, if, if you run into the exact same unit every single mission, you stop caring. You stop being interested in it. It starts being an annoyance. More in government fire, however, we have the point defense to handle it. There, ooh, wow. No wonder everything sounded so loud in my ears. My volume is way up. Let's get that resolved. Alrighty. The catapult king crab, not really too badly affected. Thanatos, not a frontline mech at all. Does have a shot into the back of an Atlas. Woo, Atlas. Atlases are boring. I'm sorry, but the truth must be must be put out there. People must understand that the Atlas is a garbage mech. <laughs> it's not quite that true, but you know what? Right. They've certainly Let's lost go. their luster. Alright, hi. Um, you need to die. Oh god, you have fast game arrows too. For maximum jerkness. <laughs> are you in range? Good. Sensei lock that. God, I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to kill you in time. <laughs> I've got a tour through 100 and 115. My ship charges 75. Here we go. Hey, good hit. Although I'm entirely confused as to why everybody rolled like utter garbage. Of course, you hit his front. You hit his front and knocked it down to half. Which I suppose on the one hand, I should be thankful. On the other hand, that's kind of annoying. And here he goes. Oh, here comes the fast cameras. I hate fast camera. It's just mines everywhere. I've been very negative today. I'm not going to apologize. Oh, those were infernos. Perhaps even inferno fast cam. You never quite know. Sometimes that can be what you're dealing with. Switch over to hydras, flex. Okay, it's fire support demolishers in range. Right, Commander. Get out of the fire. Target the fire support demolisher. And I don't care that I'm already on fire. Burn, baby. Or not, as the case may be. Somebody just shot down all of my fire. Who is that? Who is the person that I need to beat to death with their own skull? Could be a Seth Self Bomber. Very much could be. Incoming gas rifle. Managing to not do too much to the damage to the Emperor, but the Emperor has an ultralight gyro, which makes it quite vulnerable. Howl? Yes, your gas wolf. High ground is appreciated. Whenever possible. Especially since you, know, you can't normally hit the broadside of a barn anyway. 38s, 29s, screw it, just go for it. <laughs> Bit of a devil may care attitude. I don't know if that hit or not, it was too impossible to read. But hey. Yeah, we hit it, but we're spreading out the damage. Oh, one of the big. The biggest things. Oh, it's a PO2 risk. Good. Gets to be extra fun. One of the biggest elements of balance in a Battletech title is the fact that your damage will spread all over the place. Why is that particular balancing, you may ask? Well, the answer, my young, impressionable friend, is because you all have these wonderful guns, but if they're spreading across, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different locations? Wait, really? Three, four, five? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Uh, you're going to suddenly find that damage not being nearly as efficient or effective as you thought it was. Hi, Demolisher. Oh, of course you would. All right, dead ground. Where's a Demolisher? There's a Demolisher. Hydras, Thumpers, Rock and Roll. For an alpha strike. Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with you? Losing lots of armor. <sighs> so I've got to kill this. Because apparently the flare defense is more than capable of handling 30 missiles without so much as blinking. 
been a bit of a rough day, I will admit. I cannot hide that any longer. Although I think most of you probably figured it out. Alright, Onager. Can't get through the point defense. Mackie absolutely f bloody will can. Infernos. From me to you. The gift that keeps on giving. Now, a clever person may have said, well, why didn't you just fire at the MML carrier? That clever person is, of course, right, but... Yeah. Ready for I'm gonna rock and roll. As it comes up. Also, because this came up. A chain whip. That... That's an interesting one. Hi. Would you please, just for the love of God, explode? Oh, good, it did. I <laughs> like how the King Crab was like looking over to first and was like, wait a second, did you see that? <laughs> yes, we did, Mr. King Crab. Yes, we did. And now I'm just gonna continue the rain on the parade, because maybe now it'll actually work this time. Good, the fire is not in my way anymore. Scored a critical hit. Amos overload no longer overloaded. Good to hear. Ajax command vehicle, no idea. PO2 risk, no idea. Shiltron, whole bunch of lasers. Meh. It's a terrible Shiltron. Worst Shiltron ever. You have constructed something which I consider to be worthless. Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with all of you? They're rolling so poorly. Is there like a jamming system that just engulfs the- Well, I know there is- there's literally- it's the pirate ECM. Which gives minus one initiative to everyone in range, but that's a fairly short range jammer. And this is getting ridiculous. Ugh. I shouldn't complain. I should be happy. I should smile and nod. So I shall. The Atlas is a Kraken, because that's the only Atlas that you'll ever run into these days. I say that, and we just want a Blackbird in the last battle. <laughs> but that was a pirate Atlas. It doesn't count. Heavy BBZ. Oh, no. You're some other form of Centurion. I don't know if that matters to you. Showboat! Maybe you'll actually get some missiles through this time. Fire support demolisher. Oh, yes, he's dead. He's so dead. And there goes his pieces. Now that needs to die. The LRM carrier, of course, in back. Uh, we're going to shift over somewhere where I don't have to get shot at. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, there's flames on the way. And I can't control how far I actually move. It's fine. Ignore the heat loadouts. They lie to you. Although I do want to torch the longbow. I believe it is I believe it to be a risk longbow. Oh, there's two LRM carriers. Ugh. Well now you're just being a jerk about it. PO2 risk, of course, already quite vulnerable. Has a risk silver bullet gas rifle. Oh yeah, this thing's almost dead. A little bit of artillery will kill it. Does have a rare Risk MML-15, although I don't believe the 15s are as rare as the Risk MML-5s, which I'm currently in the market looking for, because I would like to mount them onto my mech. Onto... Well, I want to swap out the, the lasers on Howl's mech, because I don't believe the medium lasers is doing all that much. I think the missiles might actually serve to be more useful. Okay, do I get to do anything? No. No, I just take my hands off the controls, waiting around for another several rounds. We'll see what ends up happening. So, I imagine if I'm dealing with a Risk Longbow, I'm also probably dealing with a Risk King Crab. Not a lot of that. Never mind. I forgot. Swarms. Maximum swarms. Just flooding all over my mix, causing infinite damage. AoE, it's... Well, it's frankly God in this game. It shouldn't be, but it is. We shan't put any of that silly balance into the game. Just include it because it's fun. Thumper, shall you fire? You shall not. That's good. Artillery is about to become even more powerful in the near future in Rogue Tech because they think they've figured out a way to make it so that artillery mechs with gun artillery don't just shoot their own feet. Which is cool. Uh, until you pause and then you realize that, oh god, long toms are going to be the most broken crap ever. And you're right, because they will be. The late game, so static. Alright, you done with all your missiles? All of your bull crap? You finished? You get that out of you? You feeling a little bit better about yourself now? Well, you shouldn't. 
You absolutely shouldn't. Because I'm about to kill every last one of you. And not a single one of you saw it coming. I don't think that's a safe decision to make. I'm going to stick with the Hydras. That way I can sort of lob death over the shoulder. There goes another one. Woo! And away it spins! You gonna bounce? No. Oh, of course, Paradox. My one bloody pilot without shoot and scoot. The ability is going away in 1.8 and 1.9. It has gone away in 1.8 1.9. In exchange, you need to find specific cockpit types to allow you to move after shooting. To be fair, it is the most powerful ability in the game, considering how trash accuracy is in Rogue Tech. But that's okay. Shield shot C, King Crab, I don't know what you are. I really do need to kill that Marauder. The Templar I'd like to steal. The Shield Front C I have exactly zero fear of. Because it's a terrible mech. Or tank. I popped up here, what can I see? I mean, I think I'll just shoot the Marauder. Hey, good hits. 45 damage only. Just slip him back here. See if you can't avoid taking too much fire. Has Finn not gone yet? No, he hasn't. He rolled a 19. Fascinating stuff, that. I think I've got to drop some artillery into that. King Crab coming on forward. Not getting a shot in there. Nope, there he goes. He's got some missiles on board. Some sort of MRM? Yeah, he's got two MRM 20s. And he's cooking. That might be a really, really dumb thing to sort of plan for, but... Eh. You do you, buddy. Arm carrier, Inferno! Coming your way. Is he dead? He's not dead, woo! Okay, fall back. Copy that. And she had all your stability problems. Death Crusade. The King Crack. Don't know what you are, don't know what any of you are, do I? Can shoot the thumper, but no. Uh, instead, I will just lay into this king crab like it's nobody's business. Because to be fair, it ain't. No one but mine. I've got a sensor lock. Nice little sensor lock. 60%. He's got two ballistic, two missile, two energy. Yeah, let's see how he handles the side shot. Are you in cover? I don't think you're in woods. He was. He was actually very much in woods. Jammed all of my guns except one. That's reasonable. It is. It's, it's literally aye, aye. reasonable. I did, after all, yep. run those guns to the maximum. Yeah, keep, keep shooting. Knock him over. There we go. Did manage to blow off his arm, but he's definitely going to be falling over. On your back, please. Woo. Bok. At least I'm going to be guaranteed to be faster than one person. <laughs> Jester, the Emperor. Show me the alarm carrier tier two. Okay, let, let me rephrase that. Let me bombard the alarm carrier tier two. This accurate fire is for suckers. Oh, somebody got an AMS. We're feeling inspired today. Which is good. I don't really want to be seen by the longbow because I don't know what it does. That's um, that's a dangerous thing to have a 80 ton or 85 ton ma battle mech right next to you and you don't know what it can do. Yeah, we've badly damaged this arm, but it's not dead. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. The Emperor is not designed to take damage. Ultralight gyro and all that. Yes, the Maggie. Sniper Inferno. What are you? You're the Shieldron, you're lasers. You're the Risk, which is almost dead. You're the Ajax command vehicle. It's a thumper, might be dangerous. It's not, but I want to cause as much of an effect as I can. Fall back, let the enemy operate. Am I done again? I'm done again. King Crab getting burst at. Just a little bit of damage. Nothing too serious just yet. And back up to the top. Did anybody roll well? 
Um, I've got several above twenties. I suppose that counts. You know, if this if this Templar decided he was actually going to fight, he'd be quite dangerous. Unfortunately, the Templar decided he has no interest in actually utilizing any of these ERPPCs or X-Pulse lasers or his chain whip, and he's going to run away like a coward. Brilliant, brilliant strategizing. Did you just... He nailed me with it. 45 damage under the Anagar. They hear me, they complain, and then they start shooting at me because, like, please God, won't he shut up? The answer to that question is no. I will continue to complain. You cannot stop me. Well, actually, no, you could. You, right there, watching this video right now, could stop me from complaining. But... I doubt you have the strength of will to subscribe. Nah, just kidding. We're not gonna pull that crapper. At least not until, like, people actually start expecting that. Alright, longbow. Alright, let's see what sort of shenanigans you got. I'm guessing heavy MRMs, that's what I would do. Oh, no, X-Pulse lasers. You son of a bitch. I lost a weapon. Let me guess. MML 20s. I can't fucking see it. They've gotta be. Commander? Where are you? Get over here. What is wrong with me today? Right, Commander. Hi. I don't care what you've got, quite frankly, because it doesn't matter. There we go. Did you think you were gonna stop me from doing that? Oh, we still don't know. He's shut down. He's not even... Thumper, firing cannon, missed. Okay, good. Don't care. Don't bloody care. It was a bad idea when I did it, but I didn't think it would pay off that negatively. <sighs> you know what? Kill the bloody king crab. Why the hell not, right? I mean, I could kill you. I should kill you. By all rights, I should annihilate you. Because you're carrying around a mobile long tom. One hit. Oh shoot, of course. Of course I would accidentally do that. I am so incredibly tilted today and I don't know why. This isn't like me at all. Good, penetration, that's what I'm here for. It's a shoulder penetration too. Engine crit. He's not dead, but... Order acknowledged. If I had actually managed to nail that shot, I would have blown him apart. What's he got left there? 53. Yeah, if we had nailed that shot, I would have torn over pieces. Ajax assault tank. Gonna shoot over towards the Onager. Lots of swarms, I assume. Oh no, direct fire. Probably Artemis. Death Crusade. King Crack. I'll deal with you later. Hi. Scored a critical hit. Another engine crit. Temperatures are back down. Bulwarks are up. All guns are ready for the next flood of fire. More fire on the catapult. Nothing too serious yet. Reading you. And Mockingbird's Mackey. I was hoping it wouldn't land behind him because that would have allowed us to kill him. Confirmed. If it had landed in front. Now he's got to turn away. Interesting. Aye, aye. God damn it, Chester. I'm fairly certain that none of this is irreplaceable equipment. Except maybe the thumper. I may not have a replacement for that. In fact, I don't think I do. 
Right. But with that said, it's always disheartening. There we go. No more thumper. I'm under heavy fire. Commander. And then Finn coming in dead last in the company? What the hell? I don't even know. Where's that bloody Marauder? Do you think you're getting away, son? Apparently he is. Target's taking a critical like, hit. I mean he's falling over, but he's still getting away. The King Crab's gonna get up, he's gonna shoot at me, it's gonna be painful. We've all heard the song and dance before. Back up, turn around, get ready to shoot again. As we turn the entire map into just one giant fireball. Remember when fire was like a novel thing? It just isn't that anymore. Times have changed. You can light huge swaths of the entire map on fire with ease. Oh, you missed us by negative one. Apparently our karma from last episode is coming around sometimes. But here we stand in the midst of the great fire. The burninings, as it were. But hey. This should be a poignant lesson on global warming, climate change, and, you know, lighting off tons and tons and tons of napalm in the middle of forests. Probably shouldn't do that. Hey, he's up again. Hi, are you gonna ruin somebody's day? You could. I mean, you are a hundred ton battle mech. You have a lot of potential firepower. Although your buddy is running away, so there is that working for me. As long as he keeps running, I can be happy, right? Is that how we're gonna play this one? Guarded, entrenched? Yes, he's a pacifist. He's decided that all this senseless killing and violence is destroying the planet, and we must stop now. Hopefully he doesn't get the full message. That's a really weird gun. <laughs> I think he's shooting an LB-10 at me, but I'm not sure. Uh, the catapult is just gonna fire a whole bunch of... I'm gonna try and get the pilot of the long bit of bail, but I can't guarantee that it's gonna happen. Oh, I can only hope. Hope and pray. What you gonna end up doing, man? What are you gonna do? On your 26 mountain. Ow. Hurting my mechs, man. Being, being a dick. Probably running out of AMS. That tends to be pretty common. Ugh, I can't move until 23. The pain. The irritation. Okay, not the irritation, but... We have to accept that we're going to be taking some return fire. Wait, is that on 27? Oh. That blood did nothing. Okay, interesting. Alright, where was I? Ah, yes. Everything was on fire. Waiting for order. Had a small break there. I am back. Hello, folks! I'm gonna fire a whole bunch of MMLs in your face. Go. Please explode. No, he's gonna hang around. He's got the guts. He's a very gutsy pilot. Moving to position. Woohoo! Hidden. I'll pop out and I'll light you on fire. See, I should. Could have waited. Decided it wasn't important enough to wait. I can pod you, I can harm <laughs> you in so many ways. Oh, yes, of course, you. Please explode. Wow. How? I think we need to have a long conversation about where you think you're going in this mercenary company. Considering she runs the mercenary company, that might actually be a fairly short conversation. Okay, King Crab now facing away from me, also attempting to flee. Confirm. I'm not sure why. Go for the shoulder. There we go. Don't have to deal with that crap anymore. Down. At this point, we've pretty much killed the, all of the in enemy artillery force. Copy that. So they still have, you know, some direct fire artillery in the form of a Kraken. Holy jeez, what happened? Damage. Critical. How are you engine critting? Is that a lie? Oh, I ran you, didn't I? Like a genius. 
Paul Tracy tens and number of twenties. Right. High. Oh, only the clan one has the range in the atlas. Could kill the children. Not necessarily a bad idea. This one's just so much more satisfying. Enemy down. You managed to rip him into many, many pieces in a method that I hadn't quite considered. A little bit testy, but we'll step the guns back. Probably half of them are jammed anyway. Gotta get our Emperor hidden. He's currently dying. So I got 43 armor in his center torso. Has anyone ever told you how much of a pain in the ass you are? Critical hit. Critical hit. Standing by. Right. Let's get started burning out these vehicles. There we go. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Just a couple more to take care of. Ready. Paradox and the Onager. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Oh, because I'm too close. All right, that makes sense. Going full throttle. Hi, it looks like the Infernos are going to be a lot more effective against you, so... Grit your teeth. Structure exposed. Okay, that, that's sort of... Oh, okay, there we go. That's the pop we were looking for. You are just... All kinds of lit up. Look at that under control so you can move. We really just gotta find you a place to hide. I mean, the incoming fire is still gonna suck, but... I'd like to avoid having you, you know, exploded. Holy crap. <laughs> Finding hidden ground for this guy is like finding the holy grail. There we go. Now I'm going to shell. There it is. It's huge, man. It's bloody gigantic. Firing on target. There we go. Getting a little heat on the Centurion, but now the primary target is, of course, that Ajax. And the Mackie. Hi. I have more shells for you. Wait, was that? That was the wrong kind. That was the, the explodey kind, not the burny kind. And so therefore totally useless to me. Alright, back to the top. How did everybody roll? 24, 25. Wow. Of course, the Emperor got that 25 only through an additional, you know, extra bonus. But hey, I'll take what I can get at this point. Firestarter back it off. It's rather adorable that he's overheating. Templar also continuing to run away. God, sometimes. Waiting for orders. Sometimes, my man. Oh, you can be seen by the... By the Kraken, can you? Yeah, that's kind of not acceptable. See, the whole point was to hide you. But the Kraken couldn't shoot at you. Like, that was literally the entire bloody point of that position. This heat is cooking my internal structure. So it seems to be. Watch my heat. I'll accept the heat for now just in order to keep him intact. Perhaps he moved. He's got a really nasty position on us, which I can beat possibly with artillery. I do need to keep you know cooking this out. Showbot will beat it to it, which I might be able to use in my favor. Oh my 
Oh jeez. I'm getting real banged up here. All I want to do is hide that mech. Is that so much to ask? How do you not see him? Didn't you just see him? Like, wasn't that the point of his entire position? Hi. I don't know if by causing you to die, I will therefore be causing my own death. But we're gonna give it a shot. He's out, okay. Receiving you. Vulture. Ajax command tank. Keep it coming. Oh, I blew up something big. I think it was, yeah, it was the Ajax command tank. I'll take it. I will take that. I copy. Coach. Thanatos. Centurion. Templar. Other Centurion. Wait, no, the Ajax is not dead. I saw its corpse or something behind it. Go even higher. Get more of that accuracy bonus. So something exploded big down here. It wasn't the Ajax. Was it the fire starter? Leave the Emperor alone. He is only trying to leave the combat zone. What do you got? Well, you need to cool off for a couple of rounds. By a couple of rounds, I mean like a round. Chill out for a round, we'll come back. At it in the morning. Oh, those are full on PPCs too, jeez. You are just a level of firepower that I do not like. Target him. Oh, I can't. Right, I forgot. He's not in range of anybody. So step up the guns one by one. Oh. Yeah, that'll work. Um, explode, please. Yeah, that didn't work. I mean, it was pretty, don't get me wrong, but its he's not dead. There's, there's this whole death thing that we're going for here. Howl. Well, how can afford to share some armor? Ah, yes, the infamous minefield and flame combo. Hello, Centurion. I'm a warlord this just to make this a little bit easier on me. There we go. Centurion dead. Apparently we blew off the cockpit. Orders. I suppose that's actually a really good job. Congratulations. Be proud of that. Okay, so that Ajax is still alive. I would like to find it. But there doesn't seem to possibly be a line of sight that I can take in order to see. Oh, there it is. I see you, you son of a... Hi. Roger. And lots more damage. Is he dead? Reporting. Critical hit. He's not dead. But we're working on it. Yeah, that front alarm was completely exposed. Ooh, you missed. Okay, maybe not with the missiles, but you missed me with the important things. I'll take what I can get. Mockingbird. Yeah. Turn back. Artillery, heat shell. Ajax command vehicle. Inferno's, what is this? A barbecue. That apparently didn't hit, or maybe it did, or I'm not really sure on this. Oh, it did, okay. Just the Ajax is still quite tough. It's proven to be possibly the most tough of all the targets so far. And our highest is a 22 by Howell and Paradox. Everybody else rolled like garbage again. You know, as you want to do. 24 by what I believe is an 80 ton assault mech? 85, 90 ton assault mech? By a really big assault mech, rolled higher than all of my mechs. <laughs> I'm not bitter, I'm entirely salty. Okay, 24 for the Templar. Templar, turn around, shoot, blast all of your weapons at me. 
make my onager suffer, I assume. I'd like to kill the Ajax without having to worry about this, but I don't know. Here are all four units left. The Ajax, which is alive. Oh, you stood still and did nothing. Waiting for orders. I'll take what I can get. And not complain. There we go. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Shoot, I forgot. Paradox is stupid. My own fault. I designed him this way. I just didn't think it'd be that much of a problem. Okay, okay. Uh, in that case, run time. Gotta get some speed. Moving at the speed of heat. Ooh, nice job. Orders. See, that's what I need more of. Copy that. Boom, structure exposed. Critical on your gun. Reporting. Critical hit. How does that make you feel? You got it. And now, show out. There are flames along the way, but it's not really an avoidable thing if I want to move in this direction. And I do, so. Put your word of hydras. Recycle the gun. Actually, you have a. Oh, it's only an open arm. Ugh. How badly damages his shoulder? 15. Oh, you don't say. Swarms it is. There goes his arm. He's lost his gun. And he's in steady. Now, if, whether or not that helps me in the oncoming rounds, I don't know. <sighs> For the love of Jimmy Cricket, can I please just get this mech away from... away from a homicidal maniac that is that Kraken? How's your back armor? Yeah, you can take a gas rifle shell to the back. I mean, it would suck, but you can take it. And you want to show your right side to the enemy. Because your left side is fully exposed. Yes, I know what I said. Pretty damn hot in here. Warlord, activate. Aha, I saved the mech. Ready for order. Alright, Vulture. Oh, that's Centurion. Not Infernos, just Guideds. Gifts. All weapons are Incoming. Gone. I mean, I, I was going to praise you, but it, that and was not worthy of praise. You didn't kill him. Receiving you. King Crack. Well, it's one or the other, but we got to start moving. That should be a trip. Moving out. Is he just like right at that level and like didn't fall down or? Yes, fire at the king crack. Do your worst. Maybe not your worst, but try. Damage is light. And then Mockingbird. Yes, Commander. Wait, can I move into a I can see you. That is absolutely a direct line of sight. Ooh, I even have the direct shot. Warlord for temperature control? ERLR's lasers, I'll give him the shaped charge. 63%. And he's in pieces. That's a kill. Okay, so I assume I just lost to the Templar, because, you know, I'm going to lose to the Templar. Did you have a supercharger? Standing by. Because it kind of feels like you did. <laughs> Alright, Infernos, get back here. You coward. Locking in coordinates. And then coach. I'm on him. It's more of a straight up gun than a than an actual artillery piece. I'm not sure how I feel about it. As opposed to say like just a normal cannon. Because I'm really not feeling it. Like, a Gauss rifle seems like it might do a better job. Good to go. Okay. You are not going to get a direct line of sight on the Atlas anytime soon. Printing. So we'll deal with that problem as it comes up. Hydra, Hydra, last 40. 
Just for you, buddy. Because you're not getting away. I'm gonna light you on so much fire, you're not even gonna know what hit you. Although, you might actually. You might understand exactly what hit you. Only 43%. Oh yeah, he had a supercharger. <laughs> I thought he did, I just wasn't positive about it. Alright, that didn't work. Inferno, indirect. Coming your way. Large lasers off, just to keep the temperature under control. Roger. Target confirmed. More heat. See, I get to bypass the entire system of needing to shoot at eight different locations and trying to learn to concentrate damage. Purely because all I can do is just immediately go after heat only. And heat as a resource. <laughs> oh boy. It's a health bar that's so much less than having to chew through 200 plus armor. Like, it's phenomenal. There's, there's no... Okay, that was interesting. There's no, ch no question of it. You must use... Three. The best way to attack something is through heat. Any other way is far, far less efficient. Because it's a health bar that that is much smaller, that I can shoot it from any direction. Like, overheat meta is king. For a reason. And just because you change the fact that they have to shut down on their turn and not your turn does not does not suddenly transform that fact. Ah, oh, senses impaired, you actually hit me with a PPC. You jerk. Okay. I'm gonna remember that. Commander? And I could, oh no, I'm out. But I need to find a direct line of sight with you. And then you just make things even more ridiculous when you throw in the fact that I now have AOE heat weapons. I don't mean like anything crazy, I mean like the Hydras. Or actually no, the Hydras are the crazy thing. Got it. It's like, I get to do whatever the hell I want to you, and you don't get to respond. So let me continue to apply. Oh wow, we actually got a uh, penetration. Good job, okay, Thanatos. Hi. Solid, solid striking. Black on AC-10 ammo. That's a good thing you're not using an AC-10, otherwise that could get ugly. He's got lot of missiles at the honor. <laughs> How adorable. Orders. Well, Paradox was gonna go shooting after that one, but let me just move up next to you. Now, I'm t not picking the side angle because I want to concentrate damage. I'm doing it just because it gives me an accuracy boost. That's it. Boil. Boil hard. And then Howl can come around. I have no interest in taking you intact. You're not even that good of a mech. You do have some strengths and positives, don't get me wrong, but you're not the yes, kind of mech Commander. that I give a crap about. <laughs> yes, Commander. Oh, the mech. Did you have a shot? Really? 33? Oh, fine. Just lay down the heat. Affirmative. There we go, shut off. The mech no longer functions. Reporting. Minimal damage. Aim for his face, go guided. Actually, can you do normal? No, you can't. Go guided. Affirmative. And there goes his co cockpit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, aside of course from the Emperor currently being in half, but we won't talk about that. Actually, no, we're gonna have to, unfortunately. Oh, four more episodes and then Howl is done. And I can go back to the beginning and sort of re-enjoy a life where there's lots of variety because heat isn't God. Yeah, that really sucks. I think I have replacements for all these parts, though. Aside, of course, from the Thumper, which I can pick up. Ooh, the weapon mount, maybe not. We'll have to see.
Hydra ammunition is a bit of a pain, but I think I picked up a whole bunch of tons of Hydra. Hey, we got the Hellas in its entirety. I don't really care about it. Alright, so it's a Longbow RX. Fully upgraded Void Mimic systems, Command and Control systems, what? Uh, so this is definitely a risk one. I just don't remember if I have an RX longbow. Oh, there's a Templar 3. A pair more arrows. Arrows would actually be better than the Thumper. How many tons is a Thumper? I know I saved one. There it is. Same tonnage. Really? Huh. I mean, but arrows are so much better in every single way. Oh, right, because it doesn't have the missile slots. <laughs> that would be why. Oh, but you don't really need the accuracy. God, it's tempting. Just pick up both of these arrows. Right, I actually have a mic I need to build with arrows. <laughs> Alright, let's not forget that then. Uh, expulses are terrible if you have access to non explosives Risk Silver Bullet Gauss we use this once. It's basically a small scale artillery and it's pretty junk. Sorry, but it's true. Yeah, I need the Thumper artillery to replace my losses. A whole bunch of XL engines. Changers. Indirect targeting computers, which I'm good on. Gunnery support A's. I recently bought two of them from the store and picked up two of them from just random stuff. So we're good on that. Radical compact heatsink kit. Cute. But I'm not driving a mech that's small enough to need it anymore. The compact heatsink kit. Not exactly. Ooh. Inferno arrow? Sure. Why not? How much normal ammo do I got? Seven tons? Yeah, that's good. Alright, Thumper ammo. I have five tons of good on that. Big up only weapons. Also got a couple of parts of Centurions and the Marauder. A god awful Marauder. Got the Chain Whip. Oh, that seems interesting. Plus two accuracy. Target movement reduced by 20% for two turns. Oh, huh. that's pretty interesting. And we got a Gunner Support A. And we got the useless radical compact heatsink kit. It's not useless if you're not in the hundred ton and the assault and super he and heavies range, which we are in. I mean, we can't. We're not going to field a mech that has external heats has required external engine heatsinks. Just wouldn't make sense. And that's really the only situation where the compact double heatsink kit in general is useful. Because in, in that case, you want the double heatsink kit without having to spend any of the space for it. And if you're only using the initial 10 engine heatsinks, which are free in tonnage, well, then the compact double heatsink kit is better than even the clan double heatsink kit. Because clan double heatsinks are two, are two pieces, or two critical slots, whereas a compact is one. But the moment you start adding on externals, then it's like three tons per. That's like, that's garbage. Half a million Zabils for 39 days. Pretty much all of that is the Emperor. Which kind of sucks. But I have mixed to sell. I have time and funds. Let's head over to the store. Because that's really the only thing that we need to look up right now. 11 days before the end of the month, but that's not a problem. Like I said, I have several assault mechs to sell. <laughs> Alright, pepper box and slug. How many slug do I have? Do I have 10 tons? Uh, I have 11 tons now. Ooh. Yeah, I don't really need that much anyway. If, if they were just going to make an easy popcorn purchase, I would have done it, but... Uh, I may buy that, actually. Just in case. Flares are great. Possibly even too good. And a gunnery support be on the floor. I need to modify a whole bunch of mechs with them, so. Alright, the pain is real, the pain is true. What do we got? 20 days, yeah, down to the bottom with you. Roughneck in 5 days, but that's a that's a general workup, that's not a full-on build. 3, 3, 1, 5, 2, 6. 
Ugh. Or two threes. The rough neck is not included. Five, two, two, one, yeah. There we go. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's episode. I have been Tirak. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see the notification every single time I post one of these videos, press the little bell icon. Leave a comment and I will see you all in the next episode.